these blasphemers, I'm telling you one thing here. We're going to take all your blasphemy content and we're going to give to him, inshallah. And he's going to crack down your origins from your country, home country, that what is tickling you that you use this foul language against Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Don't think that you are abroad so you can do whatever you want. It is not the time. It's the matter of time. We are not interested in you. If we are interested in you, I'm telling you, you are getting caught up in seconds. Very simple. This whole world is global village. Don't think that you can escape. You can get scot free and you can blaspheme Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi like that. You hide wheresoever in the world. If we really want to catch you, our these uh, forces, agencies can catch you. Essence of Pakistan is on the ground of nothing must be done to the repugnant of the Holy Quran and Sunnah. Is it palatable for you? Accept it. If it's not palatable for you, go and get some another place. This is the reality of Pakistan. Otherwise, there was no need. Let me tell you something. If the stature and the personality of Prophet Muhammad Sallam being caricatured, then our existence, Muslim existence, is worthless. If we cannot defend the stature of Prophet Muhammad Sallam, our Nabi, I'm telling you, then it is better to die. If his stature is down, whole Ummah will fall. Keep this in your mind. And that is why he won my heart. Because once he started his speech, you know, time is very premium. These kind of meetings, you don't have a free latitude, whatever you want to say. No, time is very premium. I was at his disposal and he used it optimally.